Hi everyone, it's Kaylee. Welcome back to my channel. Glad that you're here. Today I'm going to be doing a little sewing project. I thought I would take you along and show you. I'm going to be making a glasses pouch for my sunglasses out of this fabric here. This is a beautiful vintage valance curtain. I think it's really beautiful and I love recycling it with small projects like this. Part of it is already lined so I can actually recycle the lining as well. I'm making myself a sunglasses pouch because I have these cat eye tortoiseshell glasses and I really like them but I keep leaving them at home and forgetting them because they're not just in my purse with me and I don't want to just toss them in my purse by themselves because I feel like they're gonna get scratched up from my car keys. So I've decided to make a little pouch so that my sunglasses will be safe and protected and I can keep them in my purse with me all the time and then I don't have to worry about forgetting them anymore. All right, so let's just jump right in. The pieces I used are a five by nine and three quarter inch front piece and matching lining. And then the back piece was 12 inches by five inches and that point started at about three inches down from the edge. And then I also decided to use some iron-on interfacing to make this just a little bit more rigid. So I'm just steaming on the interfacing according to the instructions. And then once that was on both of my main fabric pieces, I pinned the lining and the pieces right sides together. And then I went ahead and sewed those up almost all the way around, leaving just a few inches of a gap to be able to turn them out. I also decided to trim down that seam allowance just to reduce some bulk and make it a little easier to turn out. And then since my piece was looking pretty wrinkly, I pressed this and folded in those loose edges to give myself a nice guide to be able to stitch down that opening. After repeating this on the front and back pieces, I laid them down right sides together and folded that front piece down about an inch and stitched that down just to give that envelope flap a little bit more space. Then I went and sewed those two pieces right sides together along the two sides and the bottom edge. And at this point, my glasses case was really starting to come together. So I just flipped it inside out, gave it another press because it was looking wrinkly. And here's where I realized that my envelope flap was too wide because of the seam allowance so i had to hem those edges in just a little bit and then i moved on to the buttonhole so i switched my machine to its four step buttonhole setting and the buttonhole stitch length and this was actually really exciting because this was the first time i've used the buttonhole foot or settings on my machine I read this great tip online to put a pin across the top of your buttonhole so that you don't accidentally slice through those stitches. The button I chose was a vintage one from my mom's stash and here I'm just hand stitching that on. And then my sunglasses case was complete. So we are all done and I now have a little pouch for my sunglasses out of this beautiful vintage floral fabric that I totally love. I hope you guys enjoyed following along on this little sewing project. Now that I've done it, I think there are definitely some things that I would have tweaked to the design a little bit, but I am really happy with how it came out. If you like this video, please let me know by giving it a thumbs up or leaving me a comment down below. And until next time, I will see you over on the blog or in my next video.